Friends, this is Renee from Little Village Homestead, and today I'm going to make seasoned breaded pork loin chops in my new air fryer. So, we'll be right back. I'm going to show you how I make my pork loin chops in my air fryer. So this is kind of a little secret of mine. I use stuffing. I do make my own breadcrumbs, but you know, sometimes this is, is good because it's already seasoned and it's fantastic. So I'm going to open this up. This is the turkey flavored. Okay. I'm going to seal that up. Right now, that bag a little bit, and I'm just going to start rolling it because I'm going to brush it up a little bit more. Crush this up a little bit more. You don't have to crush it up like breadcrumbs or anything like that. Extremely. Just so that there's no huge, big chunks. Okay, now we're going to leave that sitting right in there. Look at all that seasoning in there. Those are nice. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take two eggs. These are fresh eggs, too. And we're going to crack them in here. We're going to put oh, about a quarter cup of milk and just a dot of pepper. If it comes out of there, it's about a quarter teaspoon. Oh, I got to get my whisk. And we're going to just whisk this all up. And that's all the seasoning I'm going to use because the uh, stuffing is already seasoned beautifully. So, okay, now I pulled these out of my freezer and thawed them out. I've got some nice thick pork loin chops. And that is what I'm going to use. These are beautiful. Okay. Let me get my plate and I'll show you how I do this. A little assembly line here. Okay, I'm going to dredge it in the egg. And then I'm going to put it right in my stuffing, right in the bag. Actually, you know what? I could do a couple of them at a time in there instead of one. I could probably do all of them. And I think that's what I'll do. Put them in the egg. And put them in my bag. Because I got a nice gallon sized bag there. These are going to be beautiful. That one in there. And these are thick. These are like an inch thick. These are nice. Okay. Now that that's all in there, I'm going to close this up and make sure, make sure it is, it is sealed. And it is, you'll have a mess. 
and just shake these all around, just like you'd be doing shake and bake. And kind of squish them as you go so that the breadcrumbs get pushed into them real nice. Okay. These are going to be nice. There's one. are ready to go and you know what I'm gonna push a little bit of this down onto here. Okay, let me rinse my hands off real quick. I'm gonna turn the camera off and so I can turn it around so you can see my big air fryer. And I'll be right back. Friends, this is my gourmet. This is an air fryer. It's a turbo cooker. It roasts, it fries, it bakes, it does stir fry, it grills, it barbecues, and it rotisseries. This thing is like a little spaceship sitting on my counter. This was a gift from a very special person. And I thank them again. I can't thank them enough. This thing is wonderful. But anyway, let me open this up. It's like huge inside. Okay, now you don't have to put any oil or anything in here. Just put your food in here on this grate. Oh, I wanted to show you that. The grate in here. See that you can either set it down on the bottom or you can flip it over so it's a little bit higher. And I'm going to flip mine over so that everything circulates around this really good. So. And it'll fit all four of these in there absolutely beautifully. I'll turn that one around that way. And put those few on there. There we go. All right, so now that that's in there and you don't need any oil or anything, no spray, no nothing, this thing, it's fantastic. Okay, so we're going to close it down. Now, I'm going to zoom in on this for you. So you can see this. Okay, I got it plugged in. There's my start button. Now, this over here is my menu. And I don't know if you can see, this over here is turbo. Well, we don't want turbo, we want to roast. And then we can change the timer and everything, but... Nope, it's 390 degrees for 25 minutes to start. And I don't think it'll take a whole lot more than that. Though there, You can't find recipes for this. You're, you're kind of winging it on your own, basically. So I'm doing the best I can. I've, I've made several things in here, but this is the first time I've done a video. So anyway, I've never done the um, pork chops in here. So this is a first for me too. So we'll see just how much, but we're gonna start out with 25 minutes. And we're gonna start that up. And look at there, you can even see, you can see your food cooking inside of it. Isn't that amazing? I love this thing, absolutely. They couldn't have given me a better gift, I'm telling you. But anyway, so that's gonna go for 25 minutes and when that's done I'll bring you back and we'll check it and see where we go from there okay friends I am back and this is going to be hot hot because it just went off now I don't know like I said before how long these are going to have to go to make sure that they're done completely but they they look to be done and there's no blood running out so we're gonna just take the temp of them and they're at they're at about one 
168. So I think that's going to be pretty good. I think they're done. So with that, I'm going to show you how these These turned out they're beautiful. Let me put one on this plate because I'm going to plate this one up with some mashed potatoes and some peas for my husband. Let me back this up. There we go. There is that pork chop and it is absolutely beautiful. Just look at that. And you can see the juice on the top so this is not dry by any means. So I will show you the pretty plate when it's all plated up. And that's it. That Those went for 25 minutes. It really is easy to cook. Sometimes it's just trial and error. But um, pretty soon I'll be coming out with a lot of recipes for it. Either that or I'm just looking in the wrong place. I don't know. But that's it. I hope you give it a try and like it. And thanks for watching.